I will soar. I will fly. I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. I will soar. I will fly. I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. I will soar. I will fly. I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. I will soar. I will fly. I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. I will soar. I will fly. I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to the Aquarian Adepts, my platform to become your spiritual server. And today, this is your Soar Tarot reading for April 3rd of 2018. Let's see what's in the cards today. Let's see how you will soar, how you will fly today. Yes. I do apologize. I did not make my weekly astrological video. I was actually visiting my mom. I didn't have, I wasn't in, you know, the studio uh, per se. So I didn't have all my stuff with me. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I still put out a video. So that's why I posted the promo video. If you haven't yet seen the promo video, I will link it in the description below. But that's actually going to be a video that I have on my new astrology website, which should be out within the next couple of weeks. But I, I was originally going to put it out earlier, but I wanted to push it back just because I wanted to just marinate on it a little bit longer and just kind of just go at my own pace, you know, and not try and just rush it out. So that's classic Mars and Saturn right there. <laughs> not trying to rush things, just trying to take your time and getting things done when you need to. So yeah, Mars was like wanting me to push it out, push it out, push it out. But then Saturn was like, hold on, wait a minute, hold your horses, let's... Let's take our time here. It's okay. You, you'll get there. You'll get there when you need to. So, it's all good. So, how will you all soar today? Alright, first. The uh, target card today is embracing the energy of the Queen of Wands. So, you might meet a Queen of Wands today, either in Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. But really, what this is about is embracing the energy. Now, the Queen of Wands is one who, she uses that wand, she uses this power to get things done. And, you know, she really has this fiery passion in her to create the life, the manifest life that she really wants to see. She pushes that forward. So today what you want to embrace is this Queen of Fire energy where you want to push things forward, but you kind of embrace a bit of that feminine energy as well. So what more likely is going to happen is that you're going to be receptive. You're going to be opening up to a creative passion or strengthening your relationships or, you know, like I said, just pushing things forward with that fiery energy, you're going to be more receptive to the energy. And then once you receive that download, you'll be able to push forward. That's going to be the target for today. So let's see what else we have in store, all right? For the sensation cards, we actually have the five of cups, all right? For the obstacle, we actually have the knight of wands in reverse. This is very interesting. For the action card, we actually have the Six of Wands in reverse. And for the resolution card, wow, this is <laughs> beautiful. This is, we have the Wheel of Fortune today. All right, so what's going on here today? I think it's interesting how we have three We have uh, three wand cards. Uh, two of them are the, um, the suit cards as well. So the sensation is this Five of Cups energy where we are feeling... A little more downtrodden we're feeling a little bit more emotional today the moon is in Scorpio so this makes sense we're all gonna be a little bit more on guard we're gonna be on our defenses more whenever the moon shifts into Scorpio we're really digging to the deep core of our emotions and we're looking to replenish this energy we're looking to um, heal this energy so today with the five of cups what we're sensing is kind of this need to kind of let go of this emotional baggage um, a lot of times we grab we hold on to these emotional this emotional baggage these things that happen to us and it really kind of weighs us down and it holds us back from really manifesting it holds us back from really being able to create because we get into like this self-pity state like he's pitying himself right and that's what we're going to be sensing is that there's going to be this aspect of ourselves that is in self-pity 
And the reason why is because this obstacle of wanting to charge things forward. This is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands wants to push forward, get things done. It just rushes into action and rushes into the battle without much of a thought. And it's just very, very impulsive. So what we're feeling is that we want to be able to rush forward. We're wanting to get things done. But you see, when Mars conjunct Saturn, which is still pretty much happening, it's like we can't rush forward as quickly as we want to. That's probably why we're self-pitying ourselves because we're like, I want to get these things done. I want to move forward. I want to manifest this thing. But why can't I not rush into battle? Why can't I just rush into this manifestation and into this life like I really want to? Why do I have to wait? Why do I have to temper myself? So the obstacle is actually learning some patience and not just rushing right in because more than likely, if you rush right in impulsively and based off of the old ego, you're going to manifest a lot of what you manifested before and it's not really going to fulfill you. All right. For the action, we actually have the Six of Wands. And this is interesting because it's, it's speaking of we want to arrive and celebrate that we are coming into this new self because we see we have this person coming on horseback as if they're have a, they're arriving from battle, they're victorious, and it's kind of interesting how we have this reverse and the Knight of Wands. So it's like we really do want this life where we come back and people are celebrating us. We're celebrating ourselves. We've made it through, and I think what it's going to happen today is that you're going to want to push things forward, of course, and you're going to want to create. But at the same time, you're going to need to temper yourself. You're going to realize that okay. I do have some things I still have to work out, and I do want to celebrate. I do want to arrive at that new life, but we need to take the time to receive the proper guidance. I think that's also what the Queen of Wands is saying here, is that we need to learn to receive the proper guidance and learn how to take new behaviors that's going to contribute to a new reality. I think what this is saying with the Five of Cups being here in the Sensation card is that a part of us wants to kind of take behaviors in the old way, but we realize that we have to let things go. Then we have the Knight of Wands following it, which is like our old ego wants to push things forward and just rush right into battle impulsively. But what's happening is that if we do that, if we do that, we're not really going to arrive like we really want to. But if we have patience and we just allow ourselves to receive and we just kind of embrace stillness for a moment and not just rush right into things, the resolution is actually the will of fortune. This is incredible. This means that you're going to unlock buried treasure that you did not even know was there. And more than likely, this buried treasure is sitting right on the tip of your nose. You just can't see it. And that's how life oftentimes is. A lot of the time, the treasure of the fortune is right here in the present. In fact, it's always right here in the present. We just get so caught up on, I got to get this thing done, and I got to be in this place, and I got to be over here, because if I do all these things, I'm going to feel better, and I'm going to feel more fulfilled. Really, what the Wheel of Fortune here is saying is that you can let go of all of this emotional baggage, and yes, you can manifest like that you want, but... In order to do that, you have to embrace the current moment and realize the fortune that is here in the current moment. Because once you learn to just stop, breathe, relax into the moment, and to receive the guidance from the Queen of Wands. But the Queen of Wands wants to push things forward, right? The Queen of Wands wants to create passionately, you know? And the Queen of Wands doesn't necessarily get super caught up on the emotional sphere because it wants to get things done. But it still is a more of a receptive energy. So we have to, before we can project out into the world that which we want to see, that change that we want to see, we need to come to our inner world and kind of temper the fire a bit. And there's a lot of fire going on and it's okay, but we have to learn how to guide the fire. And that's what the Queen of Wands is going to do, is going to be telling us, is that if you guide this fire in the correct way, if you don't just rush in, if you don't just celebrate prematurely and just allow yourself to see the beautiful fortune in the present moment that's always here, you will manifest the life of your dreams. And it won't be a dream anymore, it will be a reality. That is your sword tarot reading for today, my beautiful brothers and sisters. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And check out my other videos that I have. 
Um, I will be back doing the weekly astrology video next week, and I also will be doing a teroscope for each of the signs, which I might even do that today, or I might do it tomorrow, I'm not really sure, but I'm, that's another series I'm going to bring onto the channel. Um, another quick announcement, I do have a couple other series I want to bring onto the channel. The first of those series is actually going to be where I speak of animal totems for each of the signs. Now, a lot of the signs do already have totem animals, but I actually stumbled. I didn't create this system, but I stumbled upon the system using my animal cards of what animal totems were, like, chief totems assigned to each of the signs. Now, truthfully, you can have any animal totem that you just really truthfully connect with, but I actually stumbled upon the system of finding chief animal totems for each of the signs, and I found this... Probably, it's, pro it's been over a year since I found this, or maybe just under a year, but I've constantly have been seeing synchronicities that this system is true. So I'm going to be revealing that into the channel, as well as something fun in relation to Pokemon, because I am a nerd, and, you know, that's just what's going to happen. But anyways, like I said, that is it for the video today. Um, know that you are able, know that you are beautiful, know that you are creative, know that you are a divine, energetic sparks of this beautiful universe. And of course, remember to keep moving forward, to stay focused, and yahoo Smile Optim. I may hurt people, but still I'm only human I may get depressed at times, but I'm only human I refuse to believe that I'm just only human I'm a product of God, you know I'm more than human I can overcome anything cause I'm more than human My objective is change the lives cause I'm more than human I'm more than human